YouTube, Tacoma Comics coming at you here with a pretty big haul I got from some LCSs uh, going on to eBay, going on to some online sites and Half Price Bookstore. And right after this, I got another haul coming up, a uh, Wolverine auction that I won um, on YouTube, which uh, has about 40 books to it. So I figured I'd separate it into two separate uh, videos. So let's get started right away. First up was Midtown Comics um, online, just they had one of their 60% off sales, local back. Uh, local recent back issues. Started off with uh, Motor Girl, number 10. One of my absolute favorite series. I put this right up there with Vision and uh, Mr. Miracle in terms of like short series. This is a 10 issue run, those are 12 issue runs. Um, this is obviously not from one of the big two. This is Terry Moore. Motor Girl, um, this young lady here is out of uh, the war, I believe in Afghanistan, maybe Iraq, I can't recall. And she's working as a mechanic, and she's got a imaginary gorilla that acts as kind of her conscience, her security blanket, and a bunch of other different um, positions it fills. And, uh, you know, by about the sixth or seventh issue, they start doing flashbacks, and you start realizing what she went to went through that caused her to have this PTSD, and it's a powerful emotional book. And then there's these kind of government goons running around as well as these little weird aliens running around. I don't know how the story is going to tie up. I missed issue 10. This is when I was switching LCSs. Um, so I'm really excited to read it and it's, it's going to be really cool. I, I got it really cheap so I'm excited. And uh, Terry Moore is absolutely amazing. I'm going to start trying to get some of his back stuff. Uh, I saw Strangers in Paradise number one third printing at half price yesterday. It's actually signed. Um, I didn't pull the trigger on that. It's really cheap, but it wasn't a great copy, and I like to get my book signed. I don't buy signed books just to have them. I like to meet creators and get stuff signed. Um, but he, he, he's really impressed me with what he's done with this, so I'm, I'm definitely going to go pick up some old trades or omnibuses of Strangers in Paradise or Rachel Rising or something like that. Another one that I got here is Mother Panic, number nine. Um, Really liked this series when it started out. Um, I think it's still going strong, but the, the buzz on it has worn off. Um, it's part of Gerard Way's Young Animal line for DC. Um, she's kind of a vigilante killer. She's going after this school that she was sent to when she was younger that made her into, like, uh, really screwed her up and um, made people into these killers, but she broke free of their, their training and control, and now she's after them. She's also fighting crime. Batman showed up in an early issue, and you were kind of wondering if, like, he was going to be pissed that she's running around Gotham um, doing her own thing, and it's his city, but he hasn't really appeared again, so I'm not sure what, what's happening, where this is going. I think something's going on with the Young Animal line. They're rebooting it, um, so I hope that they stick with this comic, because I'll stick with that. I'm also reading Shade the Changing Girl. Um, not reading anything else from Young Animal right now. That's a pretty good one, Mother Panic. Uh, again, I'm also, you'll find out, Getting a lot of stuff geared up towards uh, Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, Jody Hauser, who wrote Mother Panic, also writes uh, Faith for Valiant. She's going to be at Emerald City and Tommy Lee Edwards, the um, artist, so two creators in that comic. This is a Jenny Frizen cover. I have almost every Morning Glories from uh, 1 through 50. Not all the variants, a lot of variants, but this is a variant cover. Um, just saw it, uh, it's pretty cheap, and you know Jenny Frizen's getting pretty uh, popular. And I think it's uh, really nice artwork. Really like uh, what they're doing here. It's nice to have an alternative or variant cover for that series. The next one is one that I know isn't super popular. Um, so first of all, this cover is just amazing. Road trip in you know Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, and America Chavez. Really great cover. Really love that. I like the character of America a lot. Miss America, I guess is, is what she goes by. Her name's America Chavez. Her Superhero name is Miss America. I think there's a lot of potential with this. Um, the writing just didn't quite click, you know. Um, just, I, I guess it just didn't click, you know. And that, that's about it, all you can say about that. So, uh, really good attempt, but I have one through four. I hate when I have one through four and I don't have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Especially if it's a short series that, that's getting canceled, you know. I, I don't mind stopping the series that goes forever if I didn't love it, but... Uh, you know, I thought this was a great cover, too. You got some of my favorites down here. Miss Marvel right there. I think that is that Captain Marvel of Vision. Can't tell. I just have, in the reflection, I couldn't see. So it looks like you got some champions down there. Um, pretty cool. So I just picked up a, a, some filler on this. Uh, another great cover. I love the way she's looking over her shoulder like, yeah, you know. 
a ridiculously silly cover. I don't quite get it. Um, but, you know, there you go. And I believe this is number nine. And again, another pretty cool cover. So I think the ish, it's up to like 11 now, and they're ending it at 12 or 14 or something. So I can probably finish that run off. And, you know, I'll read it, give it a try, see if the writing gets any better. You know, I, Marvel cancels and stuff after like 10 issues. It's insane. Um, and they're doing it a lot these days. If they don't sell right out the bat, excuse me, there's something on my screen there. If they don't sell right out the bat, they're like, and I don't know. And then you need to give time for characters to develop, for writers to develop, for some synchronicity to happen with creators, writers, and artists. Um, just my opinion there. So uh, I didn't get all the legacy headshot covers, but I got this one. This is uh, obviously Viv Vision on, on Champions. She's one of my, my two favorites, Viv Vision and Miss Marvel, so i happy to get that. Speaking of our friend Miss Marvel, uh, you know, I'm collecting all of the Miss Marvel uh, runs from Volume 3. This was the variant to the third printing, sketch edition. It's kind of silly to call it a variant to the third, but that's what they call it um, because they have. Uh, First, second, third, variant to the third, fourth. No fifth print, but they've got a sixth, seventh, and True Believers is the eighth print. So I think the only one I need is the either the fourth or the regular one of this. I forget at this point, but uh, working on getting all those. i um, really excited about that. Next thing I did was last month I went to uh, Spartan Comics Online, and I was looking for one comic in particular, but I was trying to order over 40 so I could get free shipping using um, the 9.2 crew code which apparently only exists in December. But I emailed the guy from Spartan Comics, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's that's out of date, but I'll let you have it anyway. Thanks for asking. Um, so really cool guy, really cool place, really cool online store. They've got great comics, super cheap prices, um, and the turnaround time is like three days since I ordered the, the shipment got there. So this is second printing um, of number four, or is that third printing? Second printing. Third printing of number three. Like I said, I'm getting everything in this run. And then this is the book that I actually went to get. I had another copy of this, but it had some uh, grease stains or something on here. I got it really cheap on eBay. I thought that I could clean it up. Um, I just figured I'd try since it's super cheap, but it, it wasn't cleaning up very well. So I'll just turn around and, and sell that for about the same amount on eBay. I got this much nicer copy. This is the costume variant for number one. Uh, by Jamie McKelvey, and pretty cool because, you know, this is early on in her career, and other than the short hair that she doesn't have, um, this really shows pretty much what her outfit and costume looks like and stays true to this day, you know, at least very similar, so pretty cool cover, excited for that. And then, uh, just because I had to get up over that, that $40 amount, this is a uh, second printing of Saga number eight, just love that cover, just love that cover, Saga. You don't hear about it as much these days, but it is still going super strong. It's still an amazing comic. Um, you know, if you're not up on that, go get the trades. Really cool. Went to uh, Stargazer Comics in Puyallup. <laughs> Puyallup. Once you move here, you understand how to pronounce it. P-U-Y-A-L-L-U-P. When we first moved here, we had no idea. We were calling Puyallup. Anyway, Stargate of Comics, this was a dollar. Vigilante, first issue. Always loved this cover. Pretty iconic cover. Excited to pick that up. Uh, this is a replacement of one that I had that was in really bad shape. This was like two or three bucks again. And another replacement here. Uh, so finishing out my run of, of Uncanny X-Men and getting some nicer copies of some of the back stock that I, I needed. Moving along, I had this. I think that I sold it because I had too many variant copies of Civil War II that I just didn't want laying around. So I thought this was a Civil War II comic. Probably didn't look very closely, so I just picked this up at Half Price Books to replace it. All these Half Price Books were like a dollar or two or something, including Tokyo Ghost Number 1 by Rick Remender. I never read this, but I love Rick Remender, so I picked this up. It's a pretty cool read. I might see if I can find it in trade somewhere. Uh, this is Black Mask Studios. Kim and Kim, I have the first uh, series of this by Magdalene Visaggio and Cabrera. Um, I didn't have the second series. I only had number one. I've got three and two. I don't know why those are out of order. But these are just cheap half-price uh, book, bookstore pickups as well. Really cool uh, series about bounty hunters there. Anything about interstellar bounty hunters is, is a good read. 
If you don't know this book, go find this. Paybacks by uh, Donny Cates. This is from Dark Horse and uh, really, really, really cool. This is uh, superheroes do a lot of damage. They destroy a lot of shit and they break stuff up all over the place. And they got to pay for it. So they go to loan sharks who are also have superpowers. And if you don't pay the loan sharks back, you're in trouble. Really great series. Um, kind of see where Donny Keats is coming from early on in his career with this. And I suggest you go get this. Speaking of Donny Cates, I think this is a variant for uh, Baby Teeth number one. I only have the free comic book day one of this. I got this pretty cheap. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you can't really see it there. It, it's got some, some issues. It's got some dirt marks on it, so it's no great find. But uh, trying to clean it up a little bit with Magic Eraser, seeing what I can do. Two bucks to figure that's a pretty good deal. Dun, 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 dun. A team, number one. Um, I love 80s kitsch. Uh, so I've got like uh, Saved by the Bell, Married with Children, Alf, all these like number one silly issues, uh, Toxic Avenger, and I got 18 to add to it. So not in good shape or anything. And finally, another uh, replacement one. My 206 was, was pretty janky. So I got this one right here X Men 206. Um, good issue, not a great issue, but this one's in much better shape than the one I had. Stopped by Half Price Bookshop yesterday. And, uh, Super excited to find this one, first of all, because it's in Mylar. <laughs> you know, I love buying stuff that's already in Mylar. It's kind of cool. Uh, I hadn't read this, and uh, it's my third favorite X-Men character after Kitty Pride and Wolverine. So I figured I'd give it a try. Greg Pak's a good writer. It's a really nice condition. It's in Mylar, Storm Number 1. He signed it, which, like I said earlier, I don't really care. I love getting stuff signed, but because I want to meet the creators, not because I'm trying to you know, look, I have proof that they signed it with a certificate of authenticity. But it's there, and it was cheap, so I grabbed it. This one was also cheap, and uh, I hadn't read it yet, and so I figured a number one issue. I'm not going to pass that up, so try that out. Uh, I've been collecting and reading this one. Really, really like Moonshine. Brian Azzarello did a run on Wonder Woman, did 100 Bullets, of course, which was amazing. Eduardo Risso. This is a variant cover number one, which I already have. This is a variant cover number two, which I did not have. I think that's really, really cool. A few more here. Variant number three, didn't have that one. And uh, extra copy of number four, I believe that's the regular cover. I have that. And the regular cover of number five. It only went up to six issues, and it sort of, sort of ended the story, but I mean, it could have... Um, it could have ended, uh, it could have kept going and still had a lot more territory to, to cover. So I don't know if they're taking a break or if they're going to keep going. We'll see. All right, next up are some of the uh, bigger comics that I got last month. And like I said, I'm going to Emerald City Comic Con. So I've been picking up stuff thinking of that. Start off with this big one right here. Uh, Atomic Comics in Tacoma. Got this one, um, X-Men 221, first appearance of Mr. Sinister. So the story behind this is I've got... Uh, 221, 244, and 266, all the big ones left to collect, and then I've got everything from 150 to 289, which was the last Claremont. Um, so I knock this one off now. I'll get Claremont to sign this at Emerald City. Uh, 244, I'll probably pick up. 266, man, I don't know. Um, they've got a copy at Half Price Bookstore right now. I'm hoping they have one of their, their like Half Price sales, and I'll put it on hold and pick it up on the 50% off day. But that book is going for big money, and I don't want to spend big money on it. I'm kind of hoping that when the Channing Tatum movie comes out, it tanks uh, so that the price will go down, but right now it's like at 150 175 for a really good copy, and that's just ridiculous money. I'm not going to spend that right now, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe sell some stuff on eBay and use that to flip it, but I'm not going to spend that big money. Two more big ones coming here. This is the Art Adams variant to Miss Marvel number one, obviously the, the sketch variant. Um, this one, you know, I, I, I was going to say talk the guy down, but it was more, you don't do any talking. Put in the best offer on eBay and knock like $40 off the price that they were listing it as. Of course, if you know when you're on eBay, you've got to make sure that you check what things sold for, not what they're listed for, to find out the real price. So always do that. Um, this is just beautiful. I'll get the... Uh, the full color variant in a couple months, save up for that. There's one comic in this run that I'm not going to get unless I get super lucky. The uh, Jorge Molina variant for issue number two, it's being listed at like a thousand and it's selling for like 600 and that's just ridiculous money for a comic that came out 
four years ago. That's insanity. So if somebody has one of those and just wants to give it to me for like five bucks, <laughs> I'd love it, but that's not going to happen. Um, right here, my best and worst story. I absolutely love this cover. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Um, and to me, this is like iconic Star Wars here. You know, if you follow the story, <laughs> you get way too far into it like I do. Princess Leia, she has the Force, but she did not use it to not become a Jedi. Well, she used it in Last Jedi, but she didn't train to be a Jedi, right? She felt too strongly about the Rebellion, probably because of her upbringing in Alderaan as a princess. So she uh, she joined the Rebellion, and she rank, rose to the rank of General. I'm sure being a princess didn't hurt <laughs> politically, but uh, this cover, her as a fighter pilot, this Virgin variant by Adi Granov, was just amazing. I saw it in a, online somewhere. I'm like, I got to get that. So I found out it was uh, from a company called Comic Exposure. And my dealings with Comic Exposure sucked. I paid for this comic on December 2nd. I ordered it November 30th. I didn't get it till the middle of January. And, you know, if you are um, going to be late with a shipment, tell somebody. And that's cool. I tweeted at these guys, I joined a Facebook group and, and sent a Facebook message, I went online, made an account, sent two emails through their customer contact, and I got absolutely nothing back from them, and that pissed me off. Um, you know, I was waiting for the book, I was getting close to when I was going to call my credit card company and just, just have them reverse the charges, because uh, I hadn't received it. I finally got a notification that it was coming, that it was being shipped. It still took another week and a half to ship. You compare that with Spartan Comics, who had a turnaround um, of three days, who responded to a customer contact in one day. Um, I've heard from a couple other people that they had really long wait times with this company, too. My suggestion is just don't deal with them. Um, you know, I mean, if you've got a better uh, experience with them, please let me know. Put it in the comments below. Love to hear that I'm wrong on this company. It was just a fluke, but... You know, a month and a half is too long to wait for a comic. Um, Star Wars 40 had come out. It wasn't like they were waiting for the issue to be released. It had come out mid-December, so there's no reason not to ship this right away. I don't know why they didn't. And this one's just on the bottom of the pile because it's bigger. I also got this at Stargazer Comics in Puyallup. I had 1 through 20. This was actually a really solid um, condition issue of 21, going back to like 1982 or something. ElfQuest 21 from the original Warp Graphics run. Um, picked that up actually for cover price, believe it or not, $1.50, uh, which is really cool. And this last one here is just massive. Jamie Hernandez is also going to be at Emerald City Comic Con, and I loved Love and Rockets growing up. I'm not going to get back into. Uh, I'm not going to get back into reading this or collecting this series. That would just be too much money and it's too crazy, but. Just figured I'd get this. This is cheap at half price bookstore. It covers a little warped and stuff. So, just some really, really great art here. Stuff that I remember from when I was a kid. Absolutely loved it. So, glad to get this. And I'll get Jamie Hernandez to sign it somewhere inside. Probably find like my favorite, uh, favorite cover from when I was a kid. Finally, I don't know, remember if I showed this, but uh, my one of my LCSs, Destiny, ah, Destiny Comic Shop. Um, <coughs> Downtown Tacoma had uh, Kevin Smith show up. He was in town doing something with Jane and Silent Bob. Like, you know, Jane and Silent Bob get really old and still tell funny stories. So um, I got free tickets because I was a, a customer at LCS. I had my pull list there until recently. I felt kind of bad about that, but that's the way it goes. So stood in line, met Kevin Smith, uh, took some selfies, and he signed this little thing. If you don't know Clerks, you don't get this, but um, there's a scene in Clerks I told him about where guidance counselor is like, checking eggs from an egg carton one at a time and they're like what's going on and they're like oh he's a guidance counselor and like that explains everything so i was joking with kevin about that and he's like yeah guidance counselors aren't useless so i thought that's pretty cool show that to the guidance counselor at the school i teach at and they cracked up so that's it um if you have any comments about any of the comics i showed or questions please let me know you know give me a, a like if you don't subscribe already subscribe share this with your friends I'm up to about 80 subscribers, so you know what that means. We got that big uh, 100 subscriber contest coming up soon. Love to break that 100 mark uh, pretty soon. We'll see what happens, all right? Have a great day, guys.